Hello friends, a very warm welcome from Aussie's group. I'm Malcolm, your PT coach, and with me today I have Tanu from Aussie's Clayton. Tanu, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Malcolm. How are you? I'm fine, thank you so much. Um, Tanu, before we start, I'd also like to share with the viewers that just today we've got one more score of 90. So that's our seventh score of 90 we've got in the month of January itself. So friends, if you're looking for 90, then there's only one name you should look for, and that is Aussie's group. We'll try our best that you get 79 each and definitely we follow what we sh ask you to follow. Very high chances that you'll get 90 as well. And now I'd like to welcome you to session number four in the PT Live Interactive Series. Which is retail lecture. That's right. So this is the task four of the speaking module. Right. The first, as you all know, is read aloud. Right. The second one is repeat sentences. Right. Third is describe image. And the fourth task is retail lecture. It is one of the very important tasks. As That's you right. know, it is an integrated task. The marks will be going towards listening as well as towards speaking. So it is a very important task. That's right. As the name itself states, you have to retell the lecture. Now, generally, how many questions do we get in retell lecture, Tano? Earlier, students used to tell us it was two to three, but now, lots of students are coming up and they're telling us they are getting about four right. retell lectures. So on an average, three, three to four, to four questions. Yeah. So you should expect generally three, three yes. questions of retail lecture. Most that's likely right. they get three. Most likely they yeah. get three. That's right. And obviously, as you've correctly said, this task comes immediately after this scribe image in most instances. That's right. Now, do we just have a lecture in this task? Or? No, it can be a video. It can be image and the audio right so it it is not defined that you know you'll just be getting the audio or you will be getting the video but it can be a combination of both audio and the image or the video right so it depends what you get yeah the reason i ask this question is because if we can have an audio with an image yes. then obviously sometimes you may get confused that is it described image or all of a sudden is it written lecture that's true so yeah, obviously, a lot of students yes. do get they come and tell us that you know oh the retail lecture started and we didn't realize didn't that realize. it was That's there. right, that's right. So friends, please be very alert because generally you have, generally again I'm saying, you have six to seven questions in the scribe image. So your mind should be alert that the next question type which you'll see now could be retail lecture. That's right. right. And, and your eyes should always be focused on the screen that's itself right. so that that's you can right. read the heading which says that your next question or the question is retail lecture and you have to retail. That's what right. You hear. And Tanu, you also said a very important thing that sometimes we may also get questions with videos. That's right. Right. So generally, what should we do in such a situation if we get a video or something? The first and foremost important thing is you have to be very focused. Right. If it is a video, I, if it is an audio or the video, I would say the best thing you can do is you have to have to, you should take notes. Right. You should take as many notes as possible. Right. Because taking notes is the key to this task. That's what I believe and that's what I always tell my students. That once you have good notes, you can right. always, always do this task very easily. All right. So Tanu, as we already said that we generally have three to four questions. Generally, what can you say about the length of the audio? How long is the audio generally? The audios are generally between 30 seconds to 100 seconds. All right. So which is approximately one and a half minute, one right. to one and a half minute. Sometimes, rarely <coughs> I would say, they are less than 40 seconds. All right. Most of the times, they are about... A minute or yeah, plus minute minus. Or so, yeah. That's right. And obviously, if an audio is as long as, let's say, 100 seconds, for example, mm -hmm. then obviously we can't remember so much. That's right. That's, that's why I said it is very important to take notes. And the more notes you have, the more content you have to speak about. Right. So, generally, what do we get to take the notes in the exam? Like, is it a paper or what do we get? Yeah, we get a note pad right. and a marker to right. take the notes. Now, there are a lot of, lot of you know, things which students can face while doing this task. Sometimes the marker might stop working. Right. And a lot of students are coming up these days and telling that, you know, some, some PT centers, they just give one marker. That's some right. of them give two, which is a good thing. Yes. But if the marker stops, you know, you tend to get conscious. Yes. Definitely. Because you have to raise your hand and then the supervisor needs to come in and provide you with the other stuff. And by the time all these things happens, 
you are already confused. You've lost that, you know, flow, connection and flow. Right. So you have to be very careful. And if, just in case this happens to you, I would recommend you guys to be focused while you are listening. That's right. So basically just be calm till the end of the lecture. The best you can do at that time is you can't do anything much. You can just raise your hand, but your attention should be on the video or the audio, obviously, and just keep on. Obviously, you can't take notes, so just try to retain as much information as you can. And then once you have to start speaking, just be confident enough to get through the 40 seconds. Yeah. And while taking notes, it's very important to take the keywords, not That's the right. unnecessary notes, I would say. And also while taking notes, the best way to take notes is, you know, using abbreviations, using right. short forms. That way you can, you know, utilize that time and you can have more notes with you. Right. More, more content. The more content you have, the better it is. Right. And obviously, you can, along with abbreviations, you can also, I think, use flowcharts or That's symbols. Right. Flowcharts is a very good thing. Yes. For example, if I want to say that when the architectural plan for the city of Paris was devised, it was surrounded by a wall of bricks. So instead of you know writing wall of bricks, you can yeah. just draw a circle, and inside of that you can just write Paris or something, yeah. so that your mind understands the context of what you are doing at that time. Yeah. Right. So now, that's what you can before do. we go further, I would like to ask you one question: uh, How much time do we actually get before the recording starts and the audio stops? Right. So first thing that even before the audio plays, you generally get three seconds in every question of feature lecture. Mm -hmm after which the audio will play for, as we said, 30 to 100 seconds. Now, once the audio ends and before the recording timer starts, you get a time of 10 seconds. Okay. In those 10 seconds, why is PT giving that time? Obviously, so that you go through the notes which you have taken, mm -hmm. which generally is enough to quickly go through the notes. Yeah. So yes, we get 10 seconds before the recording timer starts. Yes, so I, I would also like to say, in those 10 seconds, it is very important for you guys to have few sentences ready right. in your mind. So that once you start speaking, you have the notes, you'll be good to go. But if that, you know, first two or three se sentences are not ready, you might be confused, you might be blank, that, right. oh my God, the recording has started, what to say? So it is always good to have some sentences ready. Right, and Tanu, once the recording timer starts, how much time maximum time should we speak? I mean, what is the uh, they, instruction? They say you have to say, speak for 40 seconds. Right. And I recommend you should speak for 40 seconds. Right. So basically, you get 40 seconds. Yeah. And the more content you can cover, maybe, the better for your score as well, definitely. That's right. All right. So we have our first post or the first comment today from our very loyal follower, Jagaroshan Singh. He needs no introduction. Hi Jagroshan, hope you're doing well. Really happy to have you here with us every single time since so many months you have been with us. Thank you. Now friends, Jagroshan over here is asking that when I listen to the lecture, I start making notes, not making, I would say scribbling, of everything the speaker talks about. I do it because I do not know what is important and what is not important. I'm also afraid if I wait for the important information, I might miss the unimportant one as well very logical point and I end up noting down something that does not even make sense at times and I, even I myself cannot make sense of it. Hence, it significantly affects my listening score and speaking fluency. What would be your advice? And second thing, how long do you think I should speak for the retail lecture? Mm -hmm. Third question, what is the importance of keywords? If I just note down the keywords, do I need to put them in the sentence or even if I randomly say them, does it make sense? So many questions you ask. Now the first question that what should I note and what should I not note? Now first thing that since the name of the test is PT academic, very high chance that many of the lectures could be academic lectures. So something to do with let's say population or science or medicine yeah, globalization. or globalization, something to do with relevant uh, terms, first thing. Second thing that obviously it's not possible to note down each and everything and even if you're trying to do as you're saying, obviously not a very wise idea. But yes, few words should be noted from the passage, I mean from the audio, which you should say in the lecture. Because obviously PT is looking for the content score. So obviously how to know now which is the relevant content, which is important, which is not. So first thing is that many times in the lecture, there can be certain, you know, keywords or hint words like 
Note that blah blah blah. Remember that. Mm -hmm. So obviously if a sentence starts with such words, yeah. it should be important. Secondly, many times you have certain keywords or adjectives in the audio like the greatest blah blah blah, yeah. the most important blah blah blah, the chief reasons for, the effective criteria for, yeah. the critical points for something are, the main reasons are, the reason this is so and so is because that yeah. So obviously what are these words? Maybe problem, solution. Okay. So basically these are instruction adjectives or words which you should obviously listen carefully. Why carefully? Because the words which follow such words will be important. Very important, yeah. Sometimes the reasons, because it clearly says because of this, yes. this is happening. So that because of that yes. is very important part. Because of what? So that is basically the reason, the gist of the passage, That's which right. should not be ignored. So the key words are pretty much, as Malcolm said, are the adjectives. Because <coughs> adjectives are the key points that That's explain right. what the lecture was about. Tell you the hint that focus on this following sentence now. Right, your next question is that how long do you think I should speak for the retail lecture? It ideally says that, you know, the heading itself tells you that you have to speak, you, you have to retell lecture in 40 seconds. Yes. So it is important if you speak more than 35, yes, yes. anything more than 35 would be good enough. And also there's one very important point which you should keep in mm -hmm. mind. You should always click stop speaking and then you click the next button. Because after you click the next button, there would be another window coming up. Are you sure? So, you know, that gives a pause, which we don't want. It right. breaks your fluency. It might bring your fluency or oral fluency score down, which we don't want. So it is always very important to click next while you are speaking. All right. And also, I would like to add that minimum you should try to speak for at least 25 seconds. Because if you speak less than 25 seconds, just like in described image, yeah. then the thing is the content score may go down. Yeah. So minimum at least 25, that is roughly three-fourths of the progress bar, and maximum, as Tanu correctly said, you will have 40 seconds to give your response, so try to speak for 30, 35 minimum, yeah. so that will basically give you a good score and content as well. And along with that, obviously, fluency is extremely important, yeah. yes. All right, next question which you've asked is, what is the importance of keywords? So I've already explained, yeah. like, which type of words you should be listening to. And sometimes you also have like proper nouns like let's say there's a passage about tourism in Australia. Now the word Australia is very important because the entire passage is about tourism in Australia. Australia yeah. So you cannot ignore that word, right? Otherwise, how will the software understand that the tourism is for what or which place? So please be careful with such keywords. And the last question which you have said is, or what you have noted is, if I just note down the keywords, do I need to put them in the sentence or even if I say like randomly will it make sense? Now again, the main thing that the software is looking for is fluency, pronunciation and the content. So ideally, yes, recommend it that the flow should be there, any good structure. But sometimes it's seen that even if you don't have a structure, you just read down those words, read out those words rather quickly. Yeah. Even then, you can get a good score. As far as they are sounding like a sentence. As and yes, not that's words. right. Okay. So, so that is a very important point that you know, if you if you've got a list of words, say you have ten words, you simply cannot just read them as words: beautiful, hmm. admirable. Right. You know, you just you have to make them in a. You yeah. know, it should sound as if it is a sentence, and right. it's not a word. You're not reading out the words. So you can just have a basic structure like. The speaker is talking about blah blah blah. Yeah. Moreover, what can be added is also it is clear from the lecture that. That's right. Furthermore, it can be added that also it is evident from the lecture that overall it can be concluded from the yeah, lecture. So you that. can have the template filler. ready. Yes, yeah. exactly. So basically, you need filler because the problem is if a lot of times if it happens that uh, um, if these things happen, they just kill the score there and then because the fluency right. is breaking. That's why. So I hope you answered all your questions. Yes, yeah. you already commented <laughs> that. Got it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jagarashan. Thank you. Well, the next question, question. Yes. yes. Is it true that PT format is getting changed? Well, Sohel, thank you for asking this question. Really, I want to thank you. Now, the thing is that many people are asking this question since so long now. That is PT changing? Is PT going to change? Is PT changing? And just last month around Christmas, on my own Facebook page, I left a very lengthy post that, yes, it is a valid question in the minds of people, but why are people asking this? 
because they are hearing it from somewhere. But it's not coming from the horse's mouth, which means PT is not saying that we are making any changes. Second question, even if PT is going to change it, why will they tell us? That's one thing, but ideally they should tell us. So if PT is changing, they will inform in advance. Right, it's not like overnight they'll be changing the structure. They aren't going to do that. If at least I'm PT, I'm going to think that I need to take give some time to the test taker Absolutely. to adapt to the new structure, right? Since three or four years, it's been the same structure, or rather since the time it has started, it's the same structure. 20 tasks, five in speaking, two in writing, five in reading, eight in listening, that is 20. Till now, the same structure is followed, roughly 70 plus minus questions in the entire test. Total time is 150 to 180 minutes. So till now, PT has not said anything about changes. Mostly, and I do sincerely believe that these are rumors, yeah. mainly spread by people, I don't know why, but these but are rumors. If there would be any changes, the, it should be updated on exactly, PT's on the website. website. Right. So you should always keep your eyes on that. On the website, right? If there's any update, as she correctly said, they will be letting the people know. Right. So uh, we hope we have answered your question. And again, we request you, don't be, you know, just dissuaded by these rumors. And last thing, let's say one person PT changes it. So anyway, they're going to change it. They're not going to ask you and me that should we change it. Obviously, they will change it if they feel the need. But I think it's a very solid test as of now. There's no need. It's a very comprehensive test of English. It is one of the most comprehensive tests because of the integrated modules and scoring. And the best thing we can do is what? We can be prepared for these changes. So basically, yes, in half your mind, expect that changes can come. But basically, don't keep on don't, questioning yeah, yourself. Don't lose your focus exactly. that you know it's gonna change or it is changing and you're not aware of it. Yes, there are like thousands and thousands of people worldwide who take PT every month in, month out. Mm -hmm. So no point thinking about these things. What is to happen is going to happen. Yeah. We've got another question by Pushpinder Kaur. Thanks, Pushpinder, for asking the question. It is if someone's result is taking time to become out. Does it mean that someone is assessing the test? The no, next? not at all, Pushpinder. Again, these are rumors. Since the past few months, um, at least in the past one year, I've been saying that many times there have been delays from PT's ends, which is a very unfortunate thing. They have their customer helpline number, which is situated in Noida, India. But sometimes it's been seen that even those people sitting in India are not able to help much because even they can't do anything about it. And it's been happening with so many of our own students That's right. that even if the test is delayed, like just today morning, one of my students, Tejas, he got a band nine score. His name is Tejas. He took his test on 20th December. Oh, really? He got a score yesterday, that is 10th of January. Still, he got a band nine score. It's worth it. <laughs> and it's worth it, obviously. And one of my other students, Kamakshi, even she got a score like three days back. She took her test maybe on the 5th of December and she got on like 7th of January, something like that. Yeah, one of my students, she was Linda. Yes, yes, yeah, I yeah. remember, yes. Yeah, sure. So it took almost one month for her result to come out, but she was pretty happy as she got her desired scores. Right. So it depends. If All PD right. is taking time, that doesn't mean that your yes, test is being Yes, it's not human integration. Yeah. So it simply means that just wait. Right, wait and watch. Well, next comment is from Fabio Santos, who has written like, ha, 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 not rumors. Sorry to correct you. Although there are no official changes reported, there are indeed quite a few retail lectures which now contain videos, more multiple choice questions, less write from dictation. Order of reading section is now random. Writing can now be three or four items, just to list a few common specialists. Now, sorry to correct you, Fabio Santos. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. But these things are there in PT since, since at least two years. Yes. At least two years. Sorry to correct you. So basically, if somebody is telling you that these are changes, two things are true. Either they themselves are not aware of the changes, or second, they are trying not to share the right information with you. Yeah. And in either cases, you are the one who is suffering because you are not getting the right information from the correct person. So ideally, I would suggest you stay away from such people. They are just misleading you. Again, I'll repeat, it's been at least two years since videos have been coming in retail lectures and summarized spoken text. And the, order of, sorry to inter and the yes. order of reading has been random exactly. for quite a while. Since yeah. ages, since the time PT has started, PT never mentions a fixed order in the reading module, which means it is a completely dynamic module. You can get questions in any order, 
fill in the blanks, reorders, and multiple any questions. number of any questions. number of questions between generally 15 to 21. But the time limit is for sure they mention on their website, which is 32 to 41 minutes in the reading module. That's the overall time. So when I took my reading, yes, it, 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 yes. it was in month of January, right. and I got nine fill in the blanks. Nine fill in the blanks, right? Nine drag and drops. So you drag get, and drops. Exactly. Yeah, I, I just got one multiple choice. Right. So it is pretty random. It is not fixed. It it has never been fixed. It's never been fixed. So it is actually again I repeat it's very unfortunate that people are taking you know advantage of what do you say, uh, people not being uh, knowing the correct structure. Because even if you read the PT guidelines yourself, you, I request you to, you know, just give some time yeah, to, in your busy them. schedule. Go through the guidelines of PT that are available online. You will come to know what we are talking about. So basically, people are just misleading you or lying in your face. They're telling you that this is going to change, this is going to change. If something will be changed, first it will reflect in the PT guideline. Yeah. That is the Bible of PT, so please follow that. Hope you question your answer and effectively. Just one more thing. He yes. said writing can be now three or four items. It was always, always three, or four. three or four items. Most Fabio. likely you get two summaries and one essay. Or two essays. Or two essays. Or so it is three or four that's questions. That's right. So I think from day one, it's that been has been. Yeah. That's right. And also you said that um, write from dictation, you said that you get less write from dictation. Now again, they have clearly mentioned that minimum you will get three questions of right from dictation. Maximum can be any, but generally it's three to five or six questions. So best what can do, just expect that you'll get three to six questions, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what you should expect. Um, We've got another question. Yes, please. Arhur Pan, is it effective to use retail lecture formats or template? Is it okay to use retail lecture templates Is some in summary summarized spoken text? Is it okay to use retail lecture templates? The same ones in the summarized spoken text. So yes, I think there's no problem because one is a task of speaking and listening. And the second is a task of listening and writing. So yes, definitely you can. If you're using or following templates, there's no harm in that because the main thing is fluency and content in the spoken, that is retail lecture question. And in summarized spoken text, it's a task of writing, which means spelling, grammar, vocabulary, written discourse, the parameters of writing, and along with that, the content of listening. So yes, definitely you can use the same template, yes. So we've got another question, From not a question, but just a suggestion. He's sharing, yeah. yeah, he's sharing that yesterday, he's given exam yesterday, guys. So yesterday, my reading passages in multiple choice, MCW. Yes, multiple, multiple choice, choice questions, questions right. yes. were small, but super academic and complex. Yes. Thank so you for sharing that, Jagrashan. That might be helpful for yes. some of our some of our test takers. Yes, definitely. So, so even in multiple choice questions, sometimes you know they are lengthy, sometimes they are short. Sometimes it can also happen that multiple choice to single answer questions, the passage can be a bit lengthier than multiple choice to multiple answers. Could That's happen. right. But but I honestly believe that task has the least. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, so yes, you should time. not be wasting Waste time. more of your time on those questions. Rather, you should focus on the other questions That's which right. has more weightage. Exactly. So I would really recommend not to waste your precious time on multiple choice questions. I'm not saying to ignore them, Yes. Definitely. but not to waste your time. That's right. That's right. If you go to any good institute, they will definitely suggest and explain to you the scoring, how the PT algorithm works. Yeah. So basically, just be wise when you select your institute and don't fall prey to such rumors. Again, I'll like to repeat. All right, we have one more question from DPZ Thapa. How much marks read aloud carry on the reading score? My reading section was quite good, yes. but I still failed to get desired score. So uh, DPZ Thapa, thank you for asking the question firstly. Again, we'd like to remind you that today's lecture was on retail <laughs> lecture. <laughs> We're getting questions yes, for everything but else, but not retail <laughs> lecture. Not retail lecture. <laughs> but still, it's important, obviously. Since you're asking it, you find this question important enough for you to be answered. And we are always there to answer your yes, questions. definitely. So yes, this is a valid question which is ask. Now, read aloud generally, as you are already aware, has six to seven questions. And the weightage can be anywhere between, generally we have seen, 15 to 30 points, sometimes 29, sometimes 30 points in reading as well. So without touching reading, from read aloud, you may get 15 to 30 points in reading as well. So we hope you answer your question yes, as well. Yes, that's right. 
So whatever you're doing in speaking reflects your reflect will reflect on reading. your reading score That's as right. well. So That's right. Yeah, so make sure you do Don't mess read up aloud reading. carefully because right. it, it drastically improves your reading scores. That's and a right. lot of people do struggle in reading because right. it is, I think, one of the most technical tasks of the whole exam. That's right. So read aloud is one task. I think I always tell my children it's free marks. That's you're just right. simply <laughs> reading. You're doing nothing. Yes. So if you're good with it, it will definitely boost your speaking as well that's as right. your reading. And that's why don't be nervous before the test. Don't be anxious. Because if you're nervous, then obviously high chances you make more mistakes. That's and right. then if read aloud goes down, basically even reading is being washed up, and then you can't get a good score. And I think reading is one thing which we've been doing since you know, since childhood. Yes, that's right. From the so very first day of our schools, we've been doing reading, so we should right. be okay with it. Just have the confidence and the ability in yourself to just carry on through those 40 seconds or 35 seconds once the beep goes off. All right. Um, the next question is from Pushpinder Kaur again, that. How much marks does retail lecture carry or have the weightage in the listening marks? Now, exact marking, Pushpinder, I don't think anybody, anybody will be able to tell you. Yeah. But roughly, we can still assume, let's say, 10 to 15 points, even in the listening section. So, guys, each, and, each task is very important. Correlated. Okay. Yes. They are, they're, almost all the tasks are integrated tasks. Okay, so don't think that, you know, this is not important, this is important. Because one task, most likely, the scores will go to towards two things. So every task is important, but it depends on which task, you, of should, task. Yeah, That's right. you should focus more. Right, so basically there are two types of tasks in PT. First are independent tasks, which means they affect the score of only that module in which they are. That's right. Second are integrated tasks like read aloud, which is in speaking, but also affects the score of reading. So hope the point is clear. All right. Uh, next question is from Rupesh Rajput. He is asking how to get the score for fill in the blanks. Now, first thing, Rupesh, your question is a bit unclear. I'm sorry to say, because we're not able to understand whether you're asking for reading or for listening. listening. And definitely, we'll try to cover these in entire depth. But when we reach the relevant tasks. So thank you for asking the questions, but mainly you need to practice because in both the tasks, it's just about a bit about practice in reading and listening both. And in listening, if you're asking, then obviously you need to be good in listening because the audio can be a bit fast. Uh, he's posted, he, he's after the reading, fill in the blanks. Oh, that's a, another topic, Rupesh. So we'll be <laughs> needing some more time, but mainly you need a lot of practice in yeah. the blanks because PT is a test of practice, less to do maybe with English, but a lot to do practice because the more you practice, the more patterns you come to know. Yeah, the more you read, I would say, yes. you know, the collocations, the grammar. If you're good with collocation, you're good with grammar, you, you'll be, it'll be very easy for you to figure out the answers in reading fill in the blanks. Definitely. She hit the nail on the head. Collocation is very important. And to help people like you and me, Pearson has done us a favor by giving out a collocation list, which has 2,467 words. That is almost 2,500 collocators are there in the list. So you just need to Google PTE space collocations. Okay. You'll get the entire yeah. list of 42 pages, which you can even download on your phone. So that's a yeah. great way to so start. We hope that we've answered your At question. Least a part of yeah. your question. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Param, thank you for co sharing that. Thank you. He's thanking us <laughs> for sharing these valuable comments and information. Thank you so much. We really feel great when we share information with you all. And I ho we hope that you know this helps you guys and you get your desired scores. Thank you. And thank you, Rupesh, for asking that question as well. Just now, let me quickly check if any other question Questions is remaining. Just give me a second, please. Well, Tanu, would well, you like to add anything which is left? Or yeah, I would, just, uh, uh, would, I would just like to ask you one question, Malcolm. What are the main problems you think a student can face while doing the task we are discussing, which is retail lecture? Right, good question again. <clears throat> now, retail lecture, I think there are two or three main problems. First is, as I said, in your mind, you should always be ready after describe image. That next question will be retail lecture. Yeah. Because both are different, very similar tasks, but the difference is that in describing you have an image, in retail lecture, then audio lecture, so you should be ready to take notes. Second thing, which you already mentioned before, that the pen might stop working. So expect the unexpected to happen. 
just like expect that PT will change its guidelines anytime, any day. Absolutely. If you're ready in your mind, yeah. everything is easy. If you're not ready, it will be a problem for sure. Third problem is that many times, yes, that's right, hesitation is one of the yes. biggest Key problems. points, I think. <laughs> Key points. Now, what is the meaning of hesitation? In simple words, we want to say something, but we are not able to say that. That is the definition of hesitation. Now, why does hesitation happen? Because in our mind, somewhere we are not sure about the content which That's we are right. saying. And a lot of students, I think, they, when they take the notes, they try to, you know, make those keywords, in, they try to put those right. keywords into sentences. Right. So they think they will not get scores if they just simply, you know, make incorrect sentences. So when they try to, you know, convert those important keywords into sentences, they fumble. Right. So basically, don't worry much. As we said, just take down at least I would say, we would say this like ten to fifteen key yes, points. 10 to 15 points. Yeah. Points, right? Don't note down the sentences yes. because PTs. This is not a task of copywriting or like you know oral dictation. No. Yeah, and points as Malcolm required. has uh, mentioned before, that you know it is it is good thing that if you can make a flow chart That's right. or if you can use abbreviations while taking those notes, it can be quite helpful right. because the more notes you have, the better it is. Right, and as we already said, just be good with those fillers as the speaker is talking about. Yeah. What is clear from the lecture is. Also, it can be added easily that, yeah. you know, yeah, you such can always start. There were so many aspects mentioned yes. in the lecture, but the lecture was focusing on that. So, you know, you should always be ready with those few fillers and few templates. If you can make some templates or if you have some templates, just be very confident while right. you are speaking those. All right. And another problem is that I was generally observed that of sentence formation. That's right. Like many times, you know, unnecessarily, the word I'm using is unnecessarily people stress about the sentences which they need to speak. Now again, we'll repeat that the main parameters are mainly fluency, pronunciation, and content. So don't worry much. Even if you're not that good in your English, just see to it that you are not breaking the flow. You keep That's on right. speaking. Yeah. Because anyway, if you have a pause of three seconds or more, the microphone will stop. The right. microphone oh, will yeah. stop recording. So yeah. just never make that mistake. Just keep on speaking because if the flow goes down, everything goes down when speaking. That's why. All right. Is there anything else, Tanu, that we I need think to pretty cover? much of our topic is covered and all the questions were answered. Yes. Definitely. But before we stop and we go, I would like to tell all our viewers that we would be holding a master class on this coming Saturday. That's right. From again 10:30 onwards yes, right. at City Branch of Aussies. So I would like you guys to come and register yourself for the master class if you want to be master of PT. <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much, Tanu. So friends, you just need to go to pttutorials.com. Over there, you will see the link where you need to click on the master class Melbourne link. That's it. You just need to fill in your details. It will take not more than 15 seconds to fill up that form and you need to pay just $129. If you attend this class, you'll also getting you'll be getting two full practice tests and you'll be getting a lot of material which will definitely help you. Friends, I'd also like to share that 27th of January this month, I will be flying to Adelaide. So if you're in Adelaide and if you're looking for a masterclass of a one-day session, make sure that you go to pttutorials.com and enroll for that as well. It's, it will be held at the office of Aussies, which is, I believe, on Victoria Road in Adelaide. Um, you just need to go to the website, as I said, pay $129 and just book in your class. The date is 27th of January. And if you're in Sydney, Sydney yes. then I'm coming there as well. Don't feel left out. I'm coming to Sydney on the 10th of February. That is again a Saturday. The class will start at around 11 and will go till 5.30. So request you all, those of you who are already enrolled, you have got already many enrollments. So we have a big class over there. So if you're in Sydney, you, the class will be happening at the Parameter office, I believe. So don't waste time. Just go to the website pttutorials.com and book your class as soon as possible. Just remember the dates. 27th January, Adelaide. And 10th, 10th February, Sydney, Sydney. And 13th January, that is this Saturday, at Melbourne CBD office. Right? Don't waste time. Book your class right now. Well, and then, before yes, we please. go, remember... Think PT, think Aussies. That's <laughs> right. Seven of our students in the last 10 days have got a score of perfect, perfect 90. 90. And out of those seven, three have got 90 each as well. Yeah. 
Yeah. So friends, so if is, you're looking yes. for a perfect score of 90, this is the right place. Right. And you should visit us. You should register for master class or you should register for other classes. That's right. And they will definitely benefit you. Well, Tanu, thank you so much for coming here today. It's we always really a pleasure. Having you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank and you. friends, next week we'll be coming up with the fifth task of speaking, which is again an important task, which is called answer short question. Now answer short question means that you listen to a question first and then you answer it. So again, it's an integrative task. That's right. So important. And I think it has got maximum number of questions. Number of questions. Yes, that's right. 10 to 13 questions. Yeah, so we, it's an important task and yes. we'll be giving you more information and we'll be answering you all your questions on this specific task next week, yes. same time. Till then, just keep on practicing and wish all the best to all the test takers who have their tests lined up in the coming few days. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.